Hello Scorpio, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 So Scorpio. This is your reading for the month of uh, May 2021 and this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Okay, also please remember to hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. Uh, please hit that notification bell uh, so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Scorpio, I have started with extended reading, so if you are interested, you can check out the link that has been provided in the description box and also in the comments section. That will lead you to the Vimeo page, okay? And uh, also know that uh, the structure of the extended reading has been provided in the description box or on the trailer of the uh, extended reading, okay? Uh, it's a very systematically structured uh, reading, okay? Uh, it has been divided into two parts. The extended reading has been divided into two parts, part A and part B. Part A is everything about your person. Part B is everything about you. Both the parts are equally important. So in part A, we are going to deep dive as to what your person is thinking and feeling about you from their heart space, from their head space, from their soul, what kind of advice they're getting from the family, friends and from, uh, from the divine, then what they think are the challenges, hopes and fears in this connection. With the help of the love notes, we'll see like what uh, were they thinking and feeling about you, especially during separation. And we'll wind up part A by checking out what action they intend to take towards you or towards this connection okay then after that we'll start with part b which is everything about you which is also equally important uh, because you should be the priority for yourself okay uh, so it's more of an advisory section it is like what is your advice if uh, when it comes to this connection or when it comes to this person what is your advice if you want to move on what is your advice for your life in general what is your advice when it comes to your money finances okay and at the end we'll pull out some affirmations for you so this was a structure for extended reading. If you're interested, you can go and check it out. Uh, as far as this reading is concerned on YouTube, let me tell you the structure of this reading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a couple of cards over here and they will represent your energy. Then I'm going to place a couple of cards over here. They will represent the energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with. In between, I'm going to place a couple of cards and they will be the general messages. They will be the non-love messages. Uh, or sorry in between I'm going to place a couple of cards and they will be the mutual energy this side it will be the energy of the person okay and later on I'm going to pull out some uh, cards from another deck and they will be the general messages they will be the non-love messages later on we'll pull some oracle cards and they will be the messages from higher powers or they will be the messages from the universe at the end we'll check out some love notes but I'm going to pull out very few love notes uh, for this reading if you want to see more of love notes you can go and check the extended reading the pricing has been provided in the description box below only it has been charged at a very low price okay all right, Scorpio, let's get started with your reading. Hmm. So we have lovers for you. Then we have two of swords, we have knight of wands, for your person we have ace of swords, three of cups, justice, mutual energy is that of six of cups and six of swords. So number six is of some importance over here, you may be seeing a lot of six, 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 lover's card is also six, so we have three sixes, okay, you may also be seeing a lot of three, 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 you may also be seeing a lot of two, two, two. Okay, right, if I have to talk about the zodiac signs, you may be dealing with a Gemini, you may be dealing with uh, a Libra, I see a very strong air sign presence over here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I also see uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, right, uh, and Leo, Leo is what I sense, there has to be a presence of Leo. Lovers, Two of Swords and Knight of Wands. Hmm. So Scorpio, it is... Uh, 
I see union happening when it comes to love. Okay, it can be a reunion. It can be a union with a past life soulmate, uh, union with a new person whom you haven't met this lifetime, or it can be a reunion with your past person. If you're going to meet a new person, uh, the moment you meet them, the your past person is going to come rushing towards you. Okay, but I see love is going to happen very soon, Scorpio. Love is around the corner. I don't see you're going to stay single for very long. Okay, and there is a there is a bit of confusion uh, in your life that is going on, and the dilemma is, I see two people. You you will deal you will be dealing with two people, and that is one of the reason why there is going to be a confusion. You're going to meet a new person. You're also going to meet the past person, and it will be hard for you to decide whether you want to stay for the past person or whether you want to move on. I'll be honest over here, Scorpio. With that lover's card, I feel that the new person is looking better. the past person is also coming towards you they are coming with lot of a uh, lot of passion with lot of passion okay but why didn't they come so far they are coming only when they are sensing that you are interested in someone new they are going to they are going to sense your energy let me tell you very honestly you people interact energetically and the moment they are sensing that you are withdrawing your uh, you you're withdrawing your energy you are cutting the cords with this person and you are becoming interested in someone new they are going to come rushing towards you and you will be like why now why you didn't come so far okay now that i am interested in someone else you are popping up in my life huh and this person will be like i'm sorry i know i did a mistake and all that but look knight of wands is an in and out energy they come with lot of passion and once they get what they want the passion fizzles away okay so there is this is a bit of in and out energy this is a bit of immature energy okay but what what is happening is on your end you you still love your person a lot okay but even when you know that you love this person in a relationship love is not sufficient right there has to be an equal give and take you cannot you cannot live you cannot love a uh, love a situation while staying in a misery right so if you are in a miserable situation in that uh, you know was miserable situation when you are with your person you won't be able to give that kind of love to that situation okay you won't be able to devote or shower the love that you want to uh because you are not feeling happy in that situation right because you are the only one who end up giving a lot of love a lot of care and what about uh, when you are uh, creating a void in your own life by uh, devoting so much of love to someone else that void needs to be filled up right and it is the responsibility of the other person to fill up that void but if that void is not getting filled up then obviously it is reasonable and logical for you to move on right so there is going to be you're going to reach a situation where you are going to be confused okay because the central theme is two of swords where you are you will be faced with choices where you are going to weigh the pros and cons and you will be forced to weigh the pros and cons and then you will take a decision okay but very honestly i see a new person is looking better than the past person but we'll still explore what the past person is thinking okay at the moment i see that from looking at your cards we see uh, we can see that they are coming with knight of wands okay we'll explore these cards also but if you want to uh, deep dive into what they are thinking then you can check out the extended ace of swords 3 of cups and the justice hmm this person there is a presence of third party okay there is a presence of third party and they will come towards you with a communication but they will come towards you where the third party is still present in their life okay and they will tell you that they will tell you like you know look uh i don't want you to move on okay i'm working with the third party i am in the process of leaving the third party uh but i don't want you to move on 
okay they will be honest and sincere with the communication they will be very honest and sincere with the communication they are coming towards you because they want to bring the clarity in the situation they want you communicate they want to tell you that you don't move on you wait you wait even if you get an opportunity don't move on you wait okay uh and somehow i feel that i you know what i'm getting strongly attracted towards this curtain there is something behind this curtain which this person may share may not share okay this person may share may not share i'm not getting a very sure shot energy from this like you know some of them may come towards you and they may share some secrets some of them may not share those secrets though the intention is to create a stability in this uh, relationship the intentions are good over here but how much efforts will be put in this situation to bring the these intentions into a reality is is a question over here okay but yes they are going to come towards you and they are going to confess they are going to say sorry they're going to be like and they will tell you that the third party is there right now but i am working on it i am planning to quit that so they will tell you that third party is there okay but they will also tell you that uh, they want to quit and they are coming towards you because they fear that you are you want to move on okay at the same time i also see that this person there is something that this person may hide from you okay again i am using the word may okay so there is something that this person may hide from you uh like again i told you for some of you they may be very honest up front for some of you they may it may be a 50 50 scenario they will share the half truth okay they won't share the full truth uh but love is happening okay anyway love is happening for you people i don't see you people staying single for long mutual energy is uh the six of cups and six of wands so again i'm getting an energy of a new person from these cards okay that you are attracting your past life soulmate scorpio you are attracting a past life soulmate and you are being asked to walk away from something that is not serving your highest good okay you are attracting an energy of a past life soulmate and your past life soulmate is already the new person i'm telling you you have already met the new person in the fifth dimension you haven't met them in the third d in the third dimension in 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 this reality okay but you have already met the new person in the fifth dimension and this new person is sending you communicating you energetically that you walk away from something that is not serving you i am waiting for you you are also communicating that with a new person and this is this has appeared in the mutual energy okay for some of you if you are really inclined to go back to your past person your past person is they are telling you that i'm walking away you also want them to walk away from third party they also want to walk away from third party you want them to come towards you they also want to come them towards you okay but this process is going to take some time especially like you know uh if we are talking about the past person particularly they coming towards you is going to take some time so let's explore what are the other messages scorpio let's explore what are the other messages if this resonates you can go ahead and check out the link that has been provided in description box and the comment section for extended okay so we have page of cups 9 of pentacles 7 of cups mutual energy is 9 of swords 4 of cups magician hmm money money and choices is a theme money and choices is a theme of course love is also a theme but your focus is on money you are love you know that love is anyway going to fall in your kitty <laughs> i i think so you have there was never a time where uh, you know you never had choices when it comes to love you always and always had choices when it comes to love there was never a dearth of love in your life i mean 
you know there was some other other person continuously who was interested in you scorpio so you are like yeah i know anyways if i'm single someone will start uh, coming towards me i know that but your main focus is on your money okay your main focus is on your money you are going to develop multiple sources of income scorpio and you are very happy about whatever you're doing a very very happy about whatever you're doing you're working very hard let me tell you that you're working extremely hard with that seven of cups i feel that you're going to build a massive empire okay like your monthly income is going to increase a lot okay just make sure that you do not entertain choices that are not good for you make sure you be very wise when making decisions make sure you do not choose something which you will regret later on okay whatever you want to do do it ethical and legal okay where where you know from inside that okay that you don't want to regret later on uh nine of swords four of cups and magician heavy heavy regret extreme regret extreme 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 regret for whatever they have done in the situation they are like literally cursing themselves like how how they can act so stupid your person is like literally literally cursing themselves for you how they can act so stupid with a magician card this person may be resorting to some love spells some witchcraft or something like that to pull you back in their life they know they have done done something wrong to you and they know that you're on the verge of walking away they're going to use some magic spells or they're going to use some love spells witchcraft or some sort of rituals to pull you back but i don't think so your energy is at a different level scorpio okay this cannot make any kind of difference to you okay this will not affect you let's see what are the messages from higher powers let's see what are the messages from higher powers let's see what are the messages from higher powers what are the messages from higher powers six chakra archangel metatron then healer of the ages the sun seven chakra archangel uriel okay so <laughs> your crown chakra is heavily affected right now anything above the above your head okay like above your neck sorry above your neck it's affected right now okay you are lacking vitamin d so <laughs> i just heard that message someone is lacking vitamin d go outside and sit in the sun okay uh you need to work on your crown chakra you need to work on your third eye chakra your third eye chakra is been blocked by someone okay third eye chakra is been blocked by someone something that you is you usually see you usually understand what a person is when you when you meet and see the person for the first time okay whether this person is genuine they are not you understand them okay like you get red flags like this if at all you are meant to be uh, meant to get any red flags if at all you are meant to get any signs and symbols you get it like this and that is because you can screen a person with your third eye chakra but that is blocked right now someone is blocking your third eye chakra okay Th someone is playing with your chakras right now scorpio you better be careful okay uh seven chakra again the same message third eye chakra and your seven chakra okay someone is someone is projecting their negative energy on you scorpio okay someone is projecting their negative energy on you and that's why i'm getting a message that go and sit in the sun sun is going to help you a lot go and sit in the sun and someone is lacking vitamin d and someone is also lacking and you know, go and go and sit in the sun you need that uh, your crown chakra will awaken your third eye chakra will awaken once you start absorbing those sun rays okay and early morning i'm not saying uh, you know in a bright sun go and sit over there early morning sun okay it will help you heal your uh, once you open your third eye chakra once you open your crown chakra okay it will help you heal you need to heal yourself you need to heal yourself scorpio you're hurt 
you are hurt in this past relationship you need to heal yourself let's see what are the messages from the universe what are the messages from the universe let's see what are the messages from the universe what are the messages from the universe things are about to get juicy don't be misled someone is trying to mislead you they chose you okay someone has chosen you new person or the old person new person already knows you but you haven't seen the new person okay you haven't met the new person you haven't communicated with the new person but the new person knows you already enjoy your extraordinary uniqueness pucker up the buttercup like being fair and reasonable will earn you the respect and admiration but being genuinely kind will make you a total love magnet go for the love magnet you've been asked to become kind and lovable and nurturing so let's pull out some love notes let's see what this person was thinking and feeling about you some of the love notes may look like what you are thinking and feeling about them okay some of the love notes may look like what they are thinking and feeling about you So your dreams are my dreams. You are the light in my life. I know you will always be there for me. You accept and respect my limitation. If I die tomorrow, I would know I found my soulmate in this lifetime. You keep a little mementos of things we we have done. You know how to put me first. Uh, we know we can work things out. I feel comfortable in your arms. You respect my decision. When I am with you, I can be myself. If all I can if all I ever had was you that would be enough you call or text me to see if I'm okay the sparkle in your eyes makes my day wow i hope this resonates please hit like share and subscribe and comment down below till then bye scorpio